What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. Now today, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest, most effective way to get uh, chopping samples with Atom and Impact. Okay, so I've got this, I've got this drum loop already synced up, you know we're starting with the drums. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is slaptastic. So let's go into let's go into our samples. Um, let's check out this uh, Crabtree Royalty Free John. Oh yeah, that's amazing. All right, so we'll go ahead and we will drag this onto the arrange window right now. Now the thing about the thing that makes Adam um, work really work really. Or I'm sorry, not Adam. The thing that makes Impact work really great uh, is when you use it in conjunction with the arrange window and kind of use kind of use this deal to chop your sample. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're synced up with the BPM. Um, this this sample says it's at 83 BPM. That's a lie. Um, the test is in, Maury has told us. So first let's go here and grab this, get rid of the um, beginning excess. You could see the transients lining up with the beats just like this and we could check the loop. And that's something that you gotta watch out for when you use these samples that have the BPMs. You know, sample creators are humans, they make mistakes. Let's make sure this is looping. Let's just solo this. Yeah, so that's on point. And the reason why we want to tempo sync it is because what we're gonna do is this is something that Serato sample would do, and this is a technique that's been used in sampling for as long as sampling's been sampling. Is you find the BPM, you get it, you get it to link up, and then you just you set uh, set your quantize grid to one bar, and then I'm gonna use my split it grid modifier, and boom, now I have a whole bunch of uh, one bar chops to run into impact now. So when I pull impact up, uh, this and this is one of my favorite things about the new impact XT, is I could just go ahead and select 16 chops, uh, drag them to a pad. Now it's gonna say insert samples. What you wanna do is you want to hold down, sh and I don't know why they aren't all selected, hold on. Oh, and before I even do that, I'm messing up. This is an A minor, my my drums are in B minor because I have I have an 808 that has a tonal bass line already. So let me just go ahead and um, transpose that up a couple steps. There we go. Now we'll go ahead, split a grid. Beautiful. And we can select these samples. Okay, drag them over to here. Now you see where it says insert samples. What you wanna do is you wanna hold shift and it'll say spread samples across multiple pads. Now with the newest update in Studio One, they let us hold down shift and be able to select all these pads, which is great because now we could set them all to choke each other. So we're gonna put them all in a like choke group so the samples don't overplay each other. If you don't do this, the samples are gonna overplay each other and you're gonna hate the way it sounds. So now that we have this all right so now we have it all set up um, we could go ahead and play the samples we'll play them as chops now we have that hi-hat uh racing through and i i want to add my own hi-hat i don't want that that hi-hat in the in the mix so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take and select all of these and I'm going to engage my filter and I'm just going to dial this back maybe I don't know 7k see if we get rid of it okay so that hi-hat is gone now which is great so now I could just I could bump that down let's see let's load up impact 
let's go ahead and let's go ahead and play the loop and see if we can find something cool. So I like that. So I'm just gonna hit. I'm gonna hit stop three times. I'm going to bring my pre count in and just go ahead and hit record. All right. So now that I've got that on MIDI, let me just go and oh. My input quantize was not on Puno. Hold on. Let's run that one more time. Okay. And I, I, I like to look at the samples in the piano roll. Um, it's, I'm used to looking at piano roll. I do not mind it. Let's take these. I think this is the timing that's gonna work. Let's just go ahead and check it. And like for example, this pad right here, this guy. He's a little loud. One of the cool things about Impact. Where's he at? Where's this guy? So this pad, we're gonna select him. Turn you down, Bubba. All right. So yeah, the uh, the main thing that you want to that you want to take away from this is you know find the BPM of your sample, line it up in the arrange window first, set your quantize to one bar. If you guys, because nobody pays attention to me when I tell this, go to keyboard shortcuts, find split at grid, right? Assign it a key command. Um, it's going to be your best friend. That's how I chop my hi hats. That's how I chop anything to the grid. Whatever you put in the piano roll, whatever you put on the arrange window, if you put something there and you want to chop it uniformly with whatever you've set the quantize value to, all you have to do is hit that split at grid. If you don't want to set a key command um, because you don't like working fast uh, and um, efficiently if like if that's not your thing like if you want to do like you want to take a long time because things are better when they take a long time you weirdo you can just go to um, I believe it is event and where where is it it's in here somewhere I know it's in here it's somewhere in here I guess it's not here, but <laughs> it used to be in there. But yeah, you can you can find that function by right clicking on things. Um, I like the key commands. Anyway, you guys keep it simple. Do not be basic. We will see you on the next one.